Today, I want you to rise above your self-limiting limitations. You need to discover the strength that you have right here, right now. So what am I talking about? I hear about limitations all the time. When people, especially when they come through the front door for the first time, they're always talking about some previous injury. So, but if it's been a few years, that injury has healed over to whatever strain that you've placed on it. And there's lots of pro athletes that get injured and they come back even stronger. But do you know what the difference is between them and the average person? Is that they put the work in to get that muscle, that bone, that ligament healed. Because why? Their reasons became bigger than their excuses. So wherever you are with this previous injury, anything can be repaired and recovered to a certain extent, obviously. But we can get you back to whatever push and demand that you want to see yourself right here, right now. But the biggest thing that you need to realize is that your reason, your goal, has to be bigger than your excuse. The second limiting belief that I always hear is I'm getting old or I'm too old. Because guess what? Everybody's getting old. But you also hear the term that you are as old as you think you are. Now, yes, things naturally decline, but you don't have to be a regular statistic. I mean, Tom Brady, the GOAT of football quarterbacking, he's won multiple Super Bowls, and he's done this into his 40s. I mean, the average quarterback in the NFL is easily 20 to 25 years old. This guy's doubling their age. In football terms, this guy is a dinosaur. But this guy doubled the average quarterback's life expectancy. Guess what? So can you. Get rid of that limiting belief. And last but not least, one of the biggest limiting beliefs that I hear from people is they're afraid to try anything new. And guess what? We all are. And we're all going to suck at anything new that we try. Me personally, I just took up tennis a few years ago and I'm gonna be honest with you, everybody kicked my ass, okay? I didn't know how to play. I didn't know how to racket. I didn't even know how to serve. I didn't know what a forehand was, a backhand, a slice, a volley, all this. And for one year, I took a beating. But what did I do? I took lessons. I even went out and bought a ball machine. I got a tennis membership. And I practiced four or five times a week, played a couple times a week. Like I invested in this. And where I'm at right now in the standings in the same tournament where I got my ass kicked by everybody is I'm number one. Now that might change at the release of this video, but at this point, I'm number one, I feel good. But to go from zero to one out of like 10 to 12 guys is a big jump. Now let's put this into perspective because most of the people that are watching this have young kids. So if you have young kids, are they perfect at spelling or doing multiplication or reading or swimming or hockey? Hell no. But would you let them just give up on themselves? Hey, daddy, I don't know how to spell. I don't want to spell no more. Okay, that's too hard on you. Don't do it. Hey, daddy, um, multiplication, I don't get it. I don't understand this one plus two plus three plus four. I don't want to do it anymore. Do you think that you're going to let your kids just give up and say, oh, it's too hard. You better give up. If you know it's beneficial for them, if you know it's going to make their future better, you're never going to let them give up. It's a non-negotiable. It's a life skill like I always hear about swimming. This fitness, your goal, your future, that is a non-negotiable. And so you have to look at it that way. You need to get rid of this limiting belief that you can't try anything new. Because guess what? When you try something new, you're gonna suck. But then you try it again and you're gonna suck less. Until you get to the point where you're like, I'm decent. Then you're gonna be good and you do it long enough and guess what? You're gonna be great. So what you need to do is understand that life is short. You need to play hard and use your age as wisdom.